This is Independence Hall in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It's where the American Constitution was signed 200 years ago. And it's known as the birthplace of the nation. And I must say, I have always liked Pennsylvania because it seems to be so civilized. I've forgiven them the fact that this is the place where they threw the British out and where the British rule ended. But now it has a genuine atmosphere of tolerance. It's almost a case of anything goes. And that applies to their medicine as well as to their daily life. parts of Philadelphia where they don't rush around much. It's a bit like being in an Eastbourne or a Lemington Spa, a touch of un-American elegance. It's not a true picture, of course. Behind the touristy bit, there's a stressful American city with its usual hang-ups about health. There's a record number of medical schools here, too, six in all. Philadelphians are always on the lookout for contentment and good health. Must be something to do with that Declaration of Independence, which said that everyone had an unalienable right to the pursuit of happiness. Even if sometimes they have funny ways of pursuing it. There's a funny old mix of cultures around these parts. It seems that wherever you go, there are unexpected sights and sounds. This is a... Uh... A little bit disturbing, actually, because right in the middle of Philadelphia, there seems to be a Welsh enclave. I've just come up Brynmoor Avenue, and this is called Bala Lane, and that road there is called Gwynedd, and there's another place back there called Welsh Valley. I was sort of looking over there for Max Boyce Crescent, and it's just like it's just like sort of real wells. In fact, in fact, there's a sort of there's a sort of welcome in the hillside. There'll be uh, some Johann Sebastian Bach or maybe be very die going on here. This is Robert Satteloff, singer and conductor of a choir and 40-piece orchestra. Sadly, the orchestra wouldn't quite fit into his music room, so Dahlia Satteloff is kindly playing the tunes tonight. Believe it or not, this is just Bob Satteloff's hobby. He still keeps his day job as a doctor and director of Philadelphia's Arts Medicine Center, the sort of place where singers with thrush and violinists with ingrown fingernails go looking for treatment so they don't foul up the night's performance. Naturally, men of Bob Satteloff's caliber only treat the Pavarotti's of the performing world. I think you don't. Oh, I don't? <laughs> I think How you did don't. I do? I, sort of, I think I score it bull three, Toreador nil there, don't you? I would say so far the bull's ahead. Yeah. Yes, but I was very busy. Eh? Well, <laughs> perhaps with, with a little work and a little training, you would be almost salvageable. Uh, but, but <laughs> you can tell me straight, Doc. I have Van Gogh's here for music. Yes. Okay. Perhaps if we take a closer look at all the various things that you're doing wrong and uh, take it out of the office and take a, a good look at you, maybe we can see if there is any hope of making you any better than you already are. Will it hurt? I've never experienced a moment of discomfort. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. I don't like the way he's laughing, do you? <laughs> good no. God, what am I looking at? 
That's the, the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. That in his office, we filmed where no TV company has dared film before. State your name, please. My name is Dr. Robert Buckman, and those are my vocal cords. With a fiber optic camera stuck up my nose, peering at my vocal cords, the good doctor began to see where the Toreador might just have gone wrong. But he needed a closer look. There was more torture to come. Okay. I am going to give you a spray anesthetic here. Right. If you will open your mouth widely uh -huh. and say, ah. Uh. Yes. <coughs> your, your viewers will enjoy that part, I have no doubt. Mm. Mm. Ah, it's great. That was a, that was an immature but amusing Amitha Kane. <laughs> North facing, a little grapey, I thought. <laughs> ah! This will fit gently and uh, painlessly within your mouth. Uh, Mary, if ah! you be, be good, not the whole thing. Can if I, you will just. Nurse! <laughs> the screams, please! If you will sit with your hips back in the chair, bend forward. Believe me, I'm going to have my hips back in the chair. Bend forward a little from the waist. From the waist? Yes, put your head up toward the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Hold the microphone firmly. Can I hold your knee? So we're not no, going to hurt hold, each other, hold, are we? Hold Mary's knee. I know that cartoon. You've rewritten it a bit I for have national slightly. television. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Right, okay. Lean forward. Stick your tongue all the way out, please. Way out. I want you to know that our 90-pound sopranos do this without that look of panic. Uh, Just relax and say... Uh, Please. Well, the beast had certainly got its close-up, but would I ever be the same again? Oh, very well. <coughs> Especially for a doctor, they make the worst patient. It was, it was very interesting. I, I must say that having been told by my mother to hold my tongue, if she had threatened somebody else holding it, I would have held it myself. And at least I got a nice postcard to send the folks back home. Having a lovely time in Philadelphia, super view from bathroom mirror. I'm going to start with putting this microphone on. Oh, this is a Bob Dylan outfit. Yeah, I'm going to my baby down by the San Francisco Bay. Oh, sorry. I was we'll just start, starting before you. We'll start point. with speaking and then go to singing. But the saddle off treatment wasn't over yet. Next, he sent me down to the basement to meet the lovely Linda, once a Miss America contestant, now his voice therapist. Marvin Williams reading passage. Right. Marvin Williams is only nine. Marvin Williams lives with his mother, who is a dragon, on Monroe Avenue in Vernon Valley. Marvin loves collecting little pieces of chewing gum from the pavement. He loves all movies, even eerie ones, with evil villains in them. Marvin has a lot of trouble with his vowels. <laughs> he has a very regular vowel habit. <laughs> I made it up. I'm sorry. The next test is a phonatory function analyzer. Oh. It will give us information on your glottal efficiency or how well your voice is working. Oh, I need you good. to stand for this. I've, I've, I've been commended on my glottal efficiency, actually. Yeah. Well, we're about my to find out. My glottal stops. Okay. Even more frightening bits of machinery, although perhaps not as frightening as Dr. Satilov's. Okay. These are nose clips. They go like this. You've got a, the extra large. Oh, okay, fine. Okay. Well, I have to do secret eyes with me while I'm at it. <laughs> you don't have to. Keep, you don't have to put them on right now. Just oh, hold okay. on. The first sound is going to be ah, uh, but you want all the sound to go through here. All so the sound through there. Point it all down there. phonation. As long as you can, you'll take a big breath and go. Oh, as long Love as you it when can. You do that. Okay, right. Ready? Cute, isn't she? Okay, right. Wait, those clips are... No, it's got time. Okay, Linda, I've got the those clips are there. Ready? Take a big breath. Don't look. Right, big ready? Big breath, and... That's good. Keep going. All in the name of science, Linda forced me to soldier on. Push, 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 push. That's good. Push, 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 push. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Push, 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 push. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Push, 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 push. Big, 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 big. How was that for you? That was very good, but I'm going to have you do it again. You are? Mm-hmm. 
What was how 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 was my duration compared to the average American male? Not as long as it should have been. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a fabulous feeling! I'm happy again. I'm singing and I'm dancing in the rain.